Boeing Starliner spaceship can carry seven people or a combination of crew and cargo for journeys to low Earth orbit. It will transport four passengers and a small amount of cargo on NASA's servicing flights to the ISS. A Starliner is required to carry four NASA crew members for scientific research. It is a silver, somewhat squat, broad-based cone shape measuring just over 17 feet tall and just under 15 feet in diameter. Starliner is reusable up to 10 times with a six-month turnaround time. According to Boeing, all Envision Starliner trips will cycle between two reusable crew modules. A new service module is used for every trip to provide the spacecraft's propulsion and power generation capabilities. It has tablet technology for crew interactions and wireless internet. Stay till the end to find out how Starliner docked with the space station despite the failures. Welcome to our channel where we provide you with facts related to space and technology. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you may never miss any of our updates. Boeing had hoped to accomplish a rudimentary Starliner flight by 2015, but as of now, in 2022, it has only experienced delays and failures. Under the proposed deal, SpaceX would fly 14 crewed missions on the Crew Dragon and Boeing would fly six crewed missions. In the meantime, SpaceX has made great strides with the Crew Dragon that has already been utilized on seven crewed missions by the firm, and it will only be used more regularly going forward, making the Boeing Starliner a total failure. It's terrible to recall that NASA gave Boeing $4.2 billion to create the Starliner program, which has been a complete failure in every way. Additionally, NASA paid Boeing an additional $287.2 million for a contract that its own Inspector General deemed superfluous, bringing its total payment to $4.49 billion for the same services. NASA paid SpaceX $2.6 billion for six operational missions and a Crew Dragon's development after the initial award. As part of the agreement, SpaceX has pledged to fly NASA on eight more occasions between now and 2030. These might be the last trips required by NASA to maintain the space station's occupancy until the year 2030, even though the space agency's news release doesn't say so explicitly. There is currently no signed foreign agreement to maintain the station flying until then, but this new procurement sends a strong signal that the space agency expects the orbital outpost to keep flying that long. The news also suggests that SpaceX will fly more than twice as many crews to the space station as its other partner in NASA's commercial crew program. As a result, the total contract value for SpaceX is now $4.93 billion. This is because we now know how many flights each business will provide to NASA throughout the course of its existence. By deducting the development costs over time, the price per seat can be determined that is paid by NASA to each manufacturer. NASA is paying Boeing 2.1 times more per seat than they are paying SpaceX, including development costs spent by NASA. Boeing is flying 27 astronauts that cost almost $183 million for each seat. SpaceX is flying 56 astronauts within the same time period that cost $88 million per seat. The crucial fact is that the Boeing Starliner has not yet transported an astronaut into space. The development of the Starliner has proven to be a challenging journey in 2019. After the spacecraft had to return to Earth after two days due to a clock issue that prevented it from being placed in the proper orbit, Boeing discovered that additional software issues had almost resulted in a serious flight anomaly. When the rocket was about to launch into space in 2021, a humidity issue led to a chemical reaction that prevented some of the capsule valves from opening. The rocket was sent back to the factory for inspection where it stayed for 10 months. It wasn't until just a few months ago that the Boeing Starliner spacecraft finally docked at the International Space Station for the first time. At this point, the Boeing Starliner is scheduled for a rudimentary test flight in early 2019, most likely in February. Its first operational mission won't happen until the second half of 2023. Now let's examine Starliner's design. Disappointingly, Boeing is producing technology that is similar to that of many decades ago. It cannot be compared to the contemporary SpaceX Dragon because the Crew Dragon 2 has a better heat shield 
and could be used for faster re-entry. SpaceX reinvented its rockets and Crew Dragon capsules from the ground up by reverse engineering previous engine systems and other components and drastically enhancing each area with 21st century interfaces. It is a one-use trash rocket system made from legacy space shuttle parts. A Crew Dragon is an extended candy white cone-shaped capsule with an internal volume of 11 cubic meters, a diameter of just over 13 feet and a height of 26.5 feet. When its work in orbit is complete, it makes parachute-assisted splashdowns into the ocean. It is fully autonomous but can be monitored and controlled by both the onboard astronauts and SpaceX Mission Control in Hawthorne, California. It has two main components. Its four large windows are among its astronaut-specific features, modern touchscreen displays. Avionic computers include seats and temperature settings that may be adjusted from 18 to 27 degrees Celsius. If something goes wrong at any moment during a Crew Dragon flight, the emergency escape system, which includes eight Super Draco engines incorporated into the capsule wall, can fire up and transport the spacecraft and passengers to safety. Four launch abort engines were installed in the capsule service module as part of the emergency escape system for the Starliner. Boeing tested these engines under a hot fire using parts supplied by the aerospace firm Aerojet Rocketdyne, but they soon discovered a propellant leak. For decades, Boeing was renowned for its engineering excellence, with its mastery appearing in innovative bombers and other military planes following the end of the Cold War. But somewhere a shift happened, and those years of technical know-how fell under question after two fatal 737 crashes in 2019, then a software crash. After all, the Starliner blows the reputation of the aerospace industry and is a setback to NASA. The legacy aerospace giant has been crippled by years of bad news about Starliners. As a result of the capsule mishap in 2019, SpaceX, Elon Musk's nimble startup, was able to leave Boeing in the dust with at least five successful manned missions to the International Space Station before Boeing had even attempted one. Significantly, the Starliner mishap put NASA's partnership with Boeing to the test. One software issue was fixed mid-flight, while another, potentially more dangerous glitch was found once the capsule landed in the New Mexico desert. The relationship was officially broken when NASA later said that Boeing could try again, but this time it would be at its expense. Let's hope the Boeing executives believe they can complete their next fixed price assignment more successfully, or at the very least, feel NASA's generous payments for building the space launch system to make up for some of Starliner's loss. Boeing has the resources and expertise that the US Space Agency needs to replace SpaceX as a rival. So far, none of the apparent candidates have stepped up to the plate, but today they only need to demonstrate their ability to execute. After two unsuccessful attempts, Boeing Starliner spacecraft successfully docked with the International Space Station on Friday evening, despite having two thruster malfunctions and a shaky thermal control system. The thermal control system is intended to maintain the temperature of the capsule's equipment while it sails into the vacuum of space. This marked yet another significant accomplishment in the spacecraft's uncrewed test flight. As a result of the propellant leaking through a valve and combining with ambient moisture to create corrosion, Boeing said that the issue has subsequently been resolved. During a live broadcast of the docking, the spokesman stated that the business was able to solve the issue by making hand modifications to the cooling system that would ordinarily be automated. Concerning Friday's docking, the corporation reported that the guidance and navigation, flight software, communications and power generating systems of the capsule were all operating efficiently. For four to five days, the capsule is anticipated to remain docked at the station before returning to Earth. If all goes well, Boeing and NASA plan to launch the crewed version of the craft sometime in the latter part of this year or early in the following year. Do tell us your views about the Boeing Starliner in the comments section. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so you will not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care.